Hi, how's it going? How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, <laughs> so sorry about that. So today we have a reading vlog. Three holiday horror books, okay? Three books that are horror and also set around the holidays. <laughs> By the way, I should mention you look stunning. You look gorgeous. You look like an angel. Like I'm like literally like, oh, <laughs> don't look at me in the eyes because I'm shy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so shy. You are beautiful, stunning, and I'm like jealous, like so jealous. I'm honestly so upset by your beauty that I just spend my days just getting drunk. I don't know what happiness is anymore. So I'm so happy for you though for being so pretty. Okay, what books did I read? You're wondering. Probably not because you probably saw the thumbnail, but I read in order Krampus by Brom, Lucky Girl by M. Rickert, and Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. We have Krampus, which is about this like dude named Jesse. Jesse's like a deadbeat. Jesse like, it's like estranged from his daughter basically. Like he's, he's kind of has like a drinking problem. He's like broke. He wants to be like a musician, but he like, he doesn't know how to make it happen. And his like wife slash girlfriend, Linda, who's like the mother of his baby is like, we're fucking over, dude. It's done with us. Like, I can't even, I can't even with you anymore. I'm, t I'm tired of you. You're broke. You have no aspirations. You have no goals. Like I'm not doing it. And so Jesse is like, oh, I'm sad, uh, you know? And to make matters worse, Linda gets with this like old fucking guy, like this guy named Dillard, who's like 60. And Jesse is like, that's fucking disgusting. Like he has old balls or whatever. But Linda is like, this guy has fucking money. This guy's gonna take care of me and my fucking kid. So like, who's fucking laughing now? Anyway, and then Jesse comes across this like bag. It's like Santa's bag, right? He starts pulling shit from it. And he realizes that like whatever he thinks of comes out of the bag as long as it's like a toy. And so he's like, holy shit, with this thing, I can like, I can like be the best dad ever, you know? Enter Krampus, because the bag happens to belong to Krampus. Then Jesse kind of gets tangled into the Krampus mess. It's like a whole thing. Lucky Girl is about this girl named Ro, who is like the struggling writer, right? And so every year she has Christmas with these like strangers basically, and they have like a little secret Santa moment. And one year, one of the guests tells a story about his family home and Krampus. And people are like, is that fucking true? Like, that's fucking crazy. Like, that sounds like it's true. And he's like, no, it's like totally fake. Don't be silly. And then the next year after that, he gives our main character, Ro, something that proves that it might be true. Basically, it goes from there. And then last but not least, we have Secret Santa, which is about Lucy. Lucy gets laid off from her job. By the way, she's like a book editor. She like works in publishing. So she gets laid off. And so she's like looking around, looking for a new job. And so she interviews at this like very like prestigious publishing house where they publish only like fancy literary shit. And so basically uh, he's like, what experience do you have? Hmm? What experience do you have? And she's like, I don't know. I like, I like edit genre fiction. And he's like, <laughs> you fucking peasant. <laughs> And then this fucking guy dies, da dies. And so when they're like, what did he say? She's like, I mean, he kind of gave me the job. <laughs> like, and so she becomes basically like the assistant editor in chief. And so, but then also a bunch of weird shit starts happening. People start going missing, people start dying. And she's like, what the actual fuck is going on? And then during the secret Santa Christmas party, she's given this gift that has this creepy ass doll in it. And she's like, what the fuck? If you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts about these books and how I felt about them because I did have thoughts and opinions about them, please continue to keep watching. Don't forget also to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit. We talk about creepy shit. We talk about, um, I don't know, Santa Claus and Krampus and shit. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I hope you enjoy this reading vlog. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Let's go on with the vlog. Continue the vlog. Let's do it. Why am I creepy? I need to stop. Okay. Yeah. 
welcome back to my channel welcome to this reading vlog so i've started reading krampus but i have observations i have observations so far so far uh the main character jesse is um a dick like i kind of don't want him to succeed do you know what i mean but like I know that I know that he's meant to be like the main character. We're supposed to be like, yay, Jesse, you go, go, girl. I'm not feeling it. I don't feel it. I don't like him. I kind of want him to die. <laughs> I literally think everyone should perish except for Jesse's ex-wife and their daughter. Does that make me a bad person? Either way, I don't much care for him. I don't much care for his attitude. Uh, and I don't care for his entitlement either. Like, so far in the book, he's just been like, listen, uh, you were married to me. You should stay married to me forever. Like, that's how that works. And when his wife is like, you're literally a fucking deadbeat. You're not going anywhere with your fucking life. You can't seem to commit to anything. So, no. Also, it seems like you're kind of a fucking drunk. And he's like, oh, life is hard for me. Like, shut up, Jesse. Nobody... Oh, nobody likes you <laughs> not only that but he does like super fucking shady shit and i know that like living in poverty means that you have to do anything and everything to make sure that you can survive but like this man this man has opportunities to do better to be someone and he just fucking like lets them go like it's just ugh. other than him though i'm super interested to see what the fuck is going on because so far we've met santa we've met krampus and I don't know who I'm rooting for. Like, the, my heart is saying Santa, because it's obviously Santa seems like the good guy. But also, what's this Krampus guy got going on, you know? Like, what's this Krampus guy doing? And like, based on the cover, he doesn't seem like a super nice guy. Maybe he could be nice, I don't know. The back cover does also doesn't help, you know? Again, he seems kinda, he might not be the nicest guy, but I, don't, I still don't know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I should update you and like let you know what's going on um, and that I'm, that I'm getting further in this. And I do really like it. Even, if, even though I hate Jesse, I'm interested to see what happens. I'm interested to see where things go. And mostly I'm interested to see what happens to Krampus's like minions and stuff because honestly I'm much more invested in them than I am in Jesse. Yeah I'm gonna keep reading this. I like it so far. Also one more thing I also love how like southern it is like I feel like I'm getting all of the southern tea and like because I know that people from the south just like love to gossip. And like, I always have the best gossip. So reading this book, I'm like, I kind of feel just like, I'm like hearing like the best gossip, you know, in the area. Like, oh my God, Jesse's a total deadbeat. And he found this like Santa bag and he's like, such a fucking loser, that kind of thing. Okay.
I am about 219 pages into Krampus. I don't know how I feel. I like the book. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not loving it. And I think the difference between a book like this and a book like Slewfoot, also by Brom, would be the character development. I don't really like Jesse. I'm not really into his character. I don't think he's that great of a guy. His whole arc in the book really is that he wants to be reunited with his wife, girlfriend, and his daughter. Like I said before, I think he's kind of like a deadbeat. He's not that reliable. Krampus, on the other hand, I kind of live for. Like, and I, <laughs> I still don't really know if he's like evil or not. I think, I don't know, it's so nuanced, right? Because Krampus is like, Santa Claus like fucked me up. Santa Claus like had me fucked up. He like imprisoned me, it was so rude. And then Santa is like, literally I was imprisoned and I'm like so kind now. I've been like reborn as like a new person. Ugh. And Krampus is like bull fucking shit. Fuck you, Santa Claus, okay? And the part where I just left off, most of the book we've been following Krampus and like Krampus uh, trying to get his revenge right on old Saint Nicholas and Jesse's kind of just like I'm here I guess. <laughs> Jesse found Santa's sack which is actually Krampus's or Loki's sack. It's like a whole thing anyway but the difference I think between this book and Slewfoot is with Apatha from Slewfoot we connect with her character because she's being actively marginalized and oppressed by her community the people in her community jesse jesse has opportunities to make shit happen and he doesn't he just he chooses to be a shitty father i am noticing though similarities between krampus and the like demon god from slewfoot i forget his name oh my god i forget his name but there are similarities between them that i'm noticing like it's very much sort of like this thing of like calling back to mother nature, calling back to environmentalism, calling back to like the old gods type of thing. Before the Christians showed up and were like, oh my God, God is good. Let's, let's treat everyone like shit. So far I'm enjoying it. So far it's not bad. So far it's okay. I am gonna finish it. I've been trying to like gauge whether or not I'm like feeling like the festive season or whatever. And I'm really not with this. I don't know, it doesn't have that much of like a Christmassy vibe, but it is still, it's a fun book. I don't hate it, but it, it's cause it's fun and a lot is happening, but I'm not, I'm not living, honestly. I'm hoping that I can finish it today or tomorrow. I think it's like midnight right now. I think after that I might move on to uh, Lucky Girl and then leave Secret Santa for last. Also though, I wanted to mention, I got T. Kingfisher's new book in the mail today, A House with Good Bones. This is coming out in March of 2023. And I'm really, really excited. The synopsis sounds so good. Let me read it to you, okay? Let me read it to you. So I put you on a stack of books. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. So this is about this girl named Sam, right? Uh, and she pulls into the driveway of her family home to find a massive black vulture perched on the mailbox, staring at the house. So then when Sam goes into the house, she notices that all of like the things that would make the house the house, gone. Like all the eclectic shit, all the weird shit, all the things that really like made it her home, her childhood home, gone. It's like sterile, it's white. Um, and not only that, but like her mom won't hear a single word about her long dead grandmother, who it says was the first to put down roots in this small southern town. The longer Sam stays, the stranger things get, and every day more more vultures circle overhead. It sounds so good. I'm really excited to check it out and read it. I'm hoping I can finish Krampus real soon. I don't really have anything planned tomorrow. My friend and I are going to Ikea. I think I want to get a few like jars and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to reading. I'm gonna go back to reading this bad boy. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, it's been a few days since I told you anything or even looked at the camera. So let me just update you, okay? I finished Krampus a few days ago and I've been quite busy since then. I haven't really had a chance to pick anything else up. Um, and because I've been so busy, because I've had like plans and everything like that, especially for this weekend, I haven't had time to read either. So I'm just trying to like catch up on shit. So that so that includes like stuff from my Patreon um, and then also this reading vlog because I want to finish it in time so I can upload it on time. So yeah, but I'll, let me tell you about Krampus, okay? And what I thought of it, all right? Let's talk about, let's talk about Krampus. Blah, 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 blah. Krampus. <sighs> Ow. Okay, excuse me. Rude. First of all, the artwork in this is stunning. The cover art is gorgeous. Is that not just fucking stunning? And of course, the back. Stunning. The end papers. The end papers are gorgeous. Every chapter also we get artwork, which is, is stunning. Well then in the middle of the book we get pages like this, which are stunning. Also, I'm sorry, Santa? Santa could get it. Like I'm not even joking. Santa is hot. Okay, anyway, Krampus, the actual book though. I liked it more than I thought I was going to. I'll say that I'll start there I'll start there I liked it more than I thought I was going to I thought I was going to read it and hate it from the beginning to be honest like I haven't liked any of Brahms other work except for Slewfoot I was like a little Debbie Downer I literally thought it was gonna suck really I think what kept me invested in this was everyone except for Jesse everyone except for the main character I was like I was there for I loved Isabel I loved Krampus. I even liked Santa. I was invested in everyone. Like even fucking Dillard. I was like, yeah, this guy's like more interesting than Jesse. The guy who rationalizes killing a child. I was like, this guy I can get behind. <laughs> Jesse for me was kind of like a boring main character, if I'm being honest. Especially in the beginning when he's like a deadbeat. When he's like this guy who like has nothing fucking going on for him. I was like, oh. Really, we're gonna do this. This is like so boring. This is so cliche. Oh, he's a deadbeat musician, Blah, whatever, you know? Honestly, I kind of wanted Linda to just like be alone. <laughs> Didn't like Jesse. Um, and then when it came to like the plot um, with this whole thing of like Krampus and Santa and Krampus sort of bringing back the sort of like Yuletide cheer, this remembrance of the old gods, um, I, re I really liked it. Honestly, I was really into them going like house to house and like <laughs> basically like forcing people to like worship him. Um, I thought that was really fun. Also, fucking Isabel. Isabel and Lucy deserved each other. You might not know what I'm talking about. You don't need to if you haven't read it. Just read it. But Lucy and Isabel, they needed to be together. Okay, they needed to to live together, okay? I'm not gonna say anything else, but that's, that's that's my opinion. It was I don't think it was right for them to be separated. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. Also, I'm not sure, and I was curious while I was reading it, if Krampus is part of Odin, Loki, Thor, like like mythology. I don't know if he is. Also, I had no idea that's what Brom looked like. I want to do more research into who Krampus is because I didn't know, I, I don't know if, if that was the thing of Brom's creation or if it's like true, if he's actually part of that kind of lore. I'm interested to know. Um, either way, I think overall, I would give this book maybe like 3.5 stars. I was kind of sitting at 4.5, but honestly, I don't really like how it ended. On one hand, I really liked it. On the other hand, there were parts of it that I like, I didn't like, that I thought was kind of cliche, that I thought was kind of boring. And like I was saying, the ending, climax with Santa, it was just kind of like a bummer. It was like, what was the point of this entire book? 
what was the point of any of this like yeah but overall i would give it 3.5 i think it's fun i think it's a good christmas christmasy kind of horror book would i say it's the most christmas thing i've ever read no not at all i would recommend reading it in december i think it's fun still have secret santa to read and then i also have the other book that i literally can't remember the name of lucky girl I don't really have time to physically read this right now, so I think I might start the audiobook for Secret Santa. Even though I wanted to start this, I think I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna go see a movie today with my roommate and our friends. We're gonna go see Glass Onion, and I'm so fucking excited, dude. If you know, you know, I love, love Knives Out. So the fact that the sequel's coming out, and that I'm gonna go see it today, I'm so excited. Before that, we're gonna go to the used bookstore, either like trade in or sell some of our stuff. And then we're also gonna go to the Goodwill and donate a few things. I have so many books I need to unhaul so I should get rid of. So I'm really excited for that. So that's the plan for today. Um, and then I have to come home and edit um, a video because um, I didn't do it all week. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go um, and get more coffee, so. TikToks for like the last like three hours. I told myself that I wasn't going to watch TikTok, that I was going to read because I haven't read anything for the last like few days. I've just like basically like given up on reading. I just had like a surge, like a surge of energy, a surge of like motivation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start reading, I think this book, Lucky Girl. I said I was gonna start reading it like a few days ago and I, I didn't, I didn't. So I'm gonna start reading this right now. I'm gonna start reading this right now. Okay, okay. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna read, okay.
tired, so I'm actually gonna go to bed. Lucky Girl is super cozy, surprisingly. I was reading it and I was listening to a little mix on YouTube. I was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm so like cozy and warm and like Christmassy. Like I feel like I'm like in the spirit of Christmas. So there's this one passage that I really, really loved. And it says, there are all kinds of ghosts. We talk most about the ones that appear in the dark, less about the ones who never leave at all, but follow a person everywhere she goes. Ghosts that never make a sound, but crawl out of dreams like cockroaches, surprised with a midnight light, turned on by a person whose sleep is haunted, whose days are haunted, whose every hour is haunted, whose life is a ghost of the one she thought awaited her when she was young, before the monster came to her house. Stunning, oh my God, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, I'm really, I really, really, really love it so far and I'm excited to get, I'm excited to continue on with it, um, but I'm tired. So I'm gonna go to bed um, and I'll finish this tomorrow and let you know what I think, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Hi, how's it going? So, I haven't read any more of Lucky Girl, but I've been meaning to show you my haul. <laughs> so I've bought a few things in the last few days because it was like Black Friday and I was out, I was out all the time. I've spent um, so much money the last few days because I've been like, going out to eat I've been going to movies I've been shopping so it's a bit wild but crazy so first of all I got this <laughs> uh, from Ikea basically like little fake things of a uh, balsam and I'm gonna use them to decorate because I'm having a Christmas board party if you don't know what a board party is look it up it's gonna be so much fun I think I'm gonna have like an ice cream sundae board and I'm so excited. Anyway, so I got that from Ikea. It was like $10. Also from Ikea, I've decided that I wanna be the kind of girl who has like things in jars, you know what I mean? That sounds weird. <laughs> but that's who I've decided I wanna be. So I've, I've bought a lot of jars that have these like cute uh, wood lids. My cat is moving my camera. Thank you so much, sir. But the cool thing is, about these is like these lids fit every jar so even like the huge ones they fit and then also they have these like little bowls and again look at it's literally genius i got a bigger bowl you know sometimes when you need like a bigger bowl that's what that is for and then i got one more small bowl I'm obsessed. I love these. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet. I think like, I think I'm gonna use them for like food storage. I just don't know which food yet, that's the thing. <laughs> and then I went to Bath and Body Works and like, I'm not usually the kind of girl who likes Bath and Body Works, um, mostly because I used to work there and it was like a fucking nightmare. Don't ever work at Bath and Body Works, don't do it. Don't ever work at Bath and Body Works. Like take my advice never work for that fucking store especially during christmas like it was such a fucking nightmare yeah i hated it so usually going into that store i'm like taken back to like being like you know and feeling just like so shit about like everything because like i was making like no fucking money i wasn't getting any fucking hours my managers were all fucking dicks um and customers were a nightmare and that store is a nightmare around this time of year 
to be honest. Anyway, I became part of the problem, um, and I and I bought uh, bought a few things. I had the sale that was like buy three get three, and I was like, oh my god, three plus three is six. That's crazy. So I was like, you know what? Let me just like buy some candles, cause like I can use them for myself, but then I can also give them away as gifts as well. So I got a uh, fireside marshmallow, stunning. It smells like a campfire. And I got frosted cranberry, uh, cause I don't know, I like cranberries. I got vanilla bean Noel. I got crushed candy cane. I got winter candy apple. And finally, I got hot cocoa and cream. I'm definitely gonna be keeping the hot cocoa, the vanilla bean, and the crushed candy cane. Like these three are the other ones that I'm like, yes. Uh, so I'm probably gonna give away the other three as gifts. But dude, chocolate candles, they don't make enough. Oh, it smells so good. It smells exactly like a hot chocolate. But like one of those like cheap hot chocolates that you drink as a kid. Oh, it smells so good. They need to do more chocolate scents and candles. Like, that's my opinion. I always love a good chocolate candle. I also actually really love a coffee candle. They don't have very many of them, though. Like, I'm, and, and like, not even just Bath and Body Works, but just in general. Like, you never see, like, candles. It's always like, ooh, linen and, like, vanilla. It's like, okay, but what about coffee? Give me coffee. Anyway. Yesterday, my roommate and I went to a used bookstore because uh, we wanted to get rid of stuff. My roommate had a bunch of DVDs, and then I had I had uh, books and stuff that I wanted to trade in for store credit. And then, of course, the ones that the store didn't take, we just donated. But I found a fucking treasure. Okay, I, I don't think anybody on this channel is gonna care, but like I care because I know because I know that this book has been like hard as fuck to find and. It's super fucking expensive because it's like out of print. And that is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I found this at the used bookstore. It was at the used bookstore. Somebody had this book, decided to sell it to the used bookstore. And then the used bookstore didn't know what they had. Because this, this in this kind of condition is worth like probably about a hundred to $150 and then and then there was no price tag there was no price tag so I was like oh my god do they even know so then when I went to go like pay for it the dude was like oh there's no price tag and I was like yeah there is it and he was like okay so like I don't know like $18 I was like <laughs> I didn't say anything of course because like I'm not an idiot but like yes I'll I'll take it for $18 thank you so much technically actually I didn't even pay for it I paid for it with the books that I sold to them like via store credit so like I didn't even pay any money for this anyway and then so that's so exciting by the way if you don't know this is about like ninja ninja assassin nuns yeah and then I also have we sold our souls by Grady Hendrix I've seen this book of course in like stores and everything like that I never wanted to actually buy it because I didn't want to because <laughs> I didn't want to spend money on it so when I saw it at the at the used bookstore, I was like, perfect, let me get that. I listen, I'm just cheap, okay? And I don't like this cover. I don't think it's pretty, and I don't really have that much of a hankering to read it, but yeah. Anyway, so I also got that. And then I also went to the bookstore. Um, and that's not surprising to literally anyone, but I picked up I picked up Kiss Her Once for Me because one of my patrons, Jesse who is absolutely an angel was like reading this and was like you need to, like everybody needs to read this it's so fucking good and i was like okay literally say say less i'm not going to i'm not going to argue with you i'm going to buy it and then i picked up this book and it wasn't even because i had like heard anything about it or like seen anyone talk about it or anything like that like i had never even i like i had no idea i bought it because it was on sale because i liked the title and it was like the staff pick of the month, so I was like, it must be good. Night of the Raven, Dawn of the Dove. I have literally no idea what this is about. I have literally no idea what, what this is about. However, I bought it, so. <laughs> and then uh, I also picked up this book. Um, and I think I'm going to give it to my friend as a, as a Christmas gift. But I don't know. See, my thing is, like, if I give somebody a gift specifically like a book 
I want to make sure that they're going to like it when they read it. And I want to make sure that they're actually going to read it. Like, I don't want to give people books and, like, have them just, like, be like, thanks, I really appreciate this. And then, like, never pick up that book. Like, that's that's kind of embarrassing when it comes to me because I'm like, this is, like, my whole thing. I'm like, my whole thing is, like, books, you know? So, like, I should be able to give people, like, actually good, like, um, books. You know what I mean? So but I'm afraid that if I give it to them, they're not going to read it and then it would be like a waste of my money and time or like a waste of their gift. I'm thinking about giving them legends and lattes just because a lot of my friends are like, uh, nerds. <laughs> so that's kind of rude. But most of my friends are nerds and they like really like D&D &D and they really like, um, like, you know, Magic the Gathering. I don't know if they like Magic the Gathering. <laughs> but they're all nerds and I figured... Um, this book is supposed to be like cozy D and D, so uh, <laughs> I was like, all of my friends like D and D. I should get this for them. But now that I have it, I'm like, they don't read that much, or they don't read this kind of book. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really love this cover, also. Um, and I think I'm also gonna buy a copy of this for myself, or maybe I'll just keep this for myself and get them something else. I don't know. We'll see. Those are basically the things I bought. Um, I'm literally actually about to go shopping again. <laughs> uh, my friend is coming to pick me up and we're going to go uh, to the bookstore. We're going to go to Michael's. We're going to get ramen. Um, and I'm really, really excited because I always want to need more books. Even though I just bought a bunch of them, I always need more. You know, I always need more. Like, why not have more? After I'm done shopping and after I come home, Celine Steve is coming over. We're gonna watch a movie for movie night. We didn't do it last night because last night we had a housewarming party to go to. And then we, we went to the keg, which was like so bouge. Um, and we looked ridiculous. <laughs> so we didn't have movie night last night, so we're gonna have it tonight. Um, and I'm hoping that, that tonight I can actually like get down to fucking business bitch because I need to actually fucking finish this vlog before the month ends so and I also really want to start Song of Ice and Fire so like what the fuck am I fucking around for anyway okay <laughs> bye <laughs>
just finished Lucky Girl. It is 2 a.m. right now, and I just finished this. Excuse uh, if you could see a pimple patch. I really liked this. The only thing I wasn't crazy about was the ending was very rushed. And like, I don't mean just like, oh, it was like, it was like one thing, blah, blah. No, it was like the entire ending, like basically like the climax of the novel, rush. Like it was like climax, resolution, plot twist, resolution, ending. I truly think, I truly think that this book could have been maybe like 50 pages longer. I think it would have been perfect. Um, Cause I really like the story. I really like the main character. I liked all of the characters. There were certain things where I was like, you're not gonna flesh this out. You're not gonna tell us what what like really happened. You're just gonna be like, oh, this happened and this happened. Like it was, it was so rushed. Overall though, I would say if you're looking for like a horror Christmas read, this is a good choice. Like it was fun, it was quick and I liked it. As for the plot twist at the end of the novel, I didn't really see it coming and until it was like literally like blaring. It was there and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was suspicious of this other character and I should have been because they were like shady, but there was another character that I should have been more suspicious of. Overall, I really liked this. I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, work on a Christmas gift that I'm giving my friend. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm gonna listen to Secret Santa, which is right here because I need to finish this vlog soon because I know when I want to post it. So, because like the past like five days have just been so busy. Why is it that every time I film, my cats are like, oh, this is the opportunity for me to step around the tripod. Like, sir, like I'm going to start this on audio and start working on my friend's Christmas gift. I'm copying my annotations into a new copy of Ninth House. Uh, Sorry, my camera died. I'm basically copying my annotations from Ninth House into a new copy of Ninth House and giving it to her as a gift. I hope she likes it. I asked her today, are you gonna read this? And her immediate response, <laughs> her immediate response is no. I also hope that she's not watching this. I don't think she will be because I don't think she watches my YouTube channel. Um, but she said no. <laughs> and then after I was like, okay, but like, it's about, it's about, uh, fraternities being a cult and like monsters and like the main character is like basically gay like that's like everything that's that's everything and she was like okay I might read it and I was like yes and then she sent me a message saying that she has it on hold at her library and it said that she was gonna get it in four weeks and I was like that's literally perfect it's like right around the time of Christmas yes I'm so excited um, so I hope that she likes it if she doesn't I'm getting her something else so hopefully she'll she'll like that and she and she won't mind that I gave her this but I also hope she likes it because I think it's gonna take me a while to do anyway I'm gonna do that I'm gonna start listening to this um, this I think is like a three star read for me maybe 3.5 something like that it's fun it's fine uh, but I wasn't crazy about the ending okay This is Audible. Blackstone Publishing presents Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. This book is read by Andy Arndt. A gift isn't a gift unless it has meaning. Oprah Winfrey. What's in the box? Brad Pitt. Seven.
Good morning. Hi. How do you? How are you? I'm about 40, maybe 50 pages into Secret Santa, and so far, I really like it. So far, I really like it. Um, I like the main character. She's this girl who's like fucked up. She's just down on her luck, and like nobody takes her seriously. Everybody thinks that she's like a joke or whatever. I really like also. Can I just say that there's this like discussion of how sometimes people who especially people who like read literary shit or like fancy shit or classics or whatever they'll look they'll like look down on like things like horror or genre fiction thinking that it's like not serious you know why am i out of breath i like that this book is like talking about that it's almost like having this discussion with itself the concept of any kind of literature being better than any other kind of literature do you know what i mean and i think it also calls into question like what makes something like bad you know like what is a bad book i mean obviously we all have books that we think are bad but i think it's interesting anyway i'm also interested to see what the fuck is going on at her work I'm a bit confused. I'm like, okay, is there a ghost? Were they hazing you? It seems like there was a ghost. But also the prologue was kind of confusing too because I was like, what the fuck is going on? The prologue ends with some dude killing this other dude after they find this thing. So I was like, what does this mean? I'm currently doing reading sprints with my patrons. Um, by the way, if you want to join my Patreon, that's totally a thing that you can do. It's only $3 a month for the lowest tier. And to join us on our reading spins, you need to be a $5 member. Also for December, I'm gonna be going live eight times on my Patreon to do productivity slash reading sprints. Also, I plan on uploading three times a week in December, except for one week. One week, I'm just gonna post twice, but the rest of December, three times so that means i'm planning on uploading 12 different videos in december um it's, so december is gonna be crazy it's gonna be busy um i have a lot planned hopefully it all goes well <laughs> but look forward to seeing a lot more of this fucking face in december i'm just i'm literally going to bombard all of you with content so Hopefully you like it. If you don't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading this. I have about 10 minutes or so left in my reading sprint. I'm gonna keep reading this. I'm also going to keep um, annotating my friend's copy of Ninth House. And yeah, okay, bye. I'll see you soon. I'll update you when something cool happens. about an hour left or so of the audiobook and I just wanted to let you know that I'm suspicious of Fabian. I have Bug here with me for no reason. It's not like I have food or anything. <laughs> I'm suspicious of Fabian um, and I would say that this book isn't really like a horror novel really. I would say that this is more of like a murder mystery type of thing. Like it's giving me cozy mystery not so much horror you know. Hi. Hey yo. Um, but yeah, just had to let you know that because I'm suspicious. I got my eye on you, Fabian. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay.
Welcome to the end of the vlog. I want to give you my general thoughts about all of these books because I had I had thoughts and opinions about them, of course. So first of all, Krampus. Like I said before, this was fun. I loved most of the characters except for the main one, which was Jesse, because Jesse was a fucking mess. And also he was like a deadbeat. Like I really did not like his character. I'd never sympathized with him. I was never like, oh, if only this guy could see his child more. Like, I was like, no, it's probably a good thing that you don't see your children. I saw a lot of similarities between Krampus and Slewfoot. They both kind of are trapped in hiding in the dark and then something awakens them. Both kind of have this uh, penchant towards environmentalism and like the old gods and the old ways and like mother nature and respecting mother earth, etc., etc., etc. Krampus just is more like Christmas, you know? <laughs> I really liked Krampus though. I loved his character. I really liked this. I wouldn't say I loved it, but I really liked it. I think I would give it 3.5, four stars-ish. It was, it was a lot of fun. And the artwork is stunning, stunning. It was gorgeous. And then Lucky Girl. The more I think about this, the more I dislike it. That's not saying that I do dislike it. I think it's fine. But the fact that the ending was like, I'm, like I'm saying, was so fucking rushed, like, she literally was like, was like, climax, climax, climax. Oh, and you know, we, we did this and we did like, it was very like, oh, this happened. And then we did this and this and this. And instead of, instead of like really showing us what happened, she really told us what happened. And I was Im immediately like, oh, fuck this. Like, are you joking? Like the moment where it's supposed to be like really, really good the moment where this where where everything is sort of coming to light is the moment when she's like you know let me explain this away for you let me just explain this rather than like show you what how like i hate that i hate it and she basically did that for the rest of the novel she just told us what happened she didn't show us a goddamn thing i would say the first half was really really good the second half shit trash that's how i feel about that and then secret santa which i finished yesterday you might remember when i said that this was kind of more like cozy mystery than it was like horror and i have to take that back because i think it is i mean okay i have to take it back <laughs> like the first half of the novel is giving cozy mystery you know and then the second half of the novel is kind of giving like cozy mystery meets horror like i don't I don't, I wouldn't say like go into this and like be scared. No, not like not at all. This, if anything, is just like a really fun mystery. I was very much invested in like not only the main character because I thought she was really interesting, but also just like what the fuck was gonna happen. Cause I literally had no idea. And I was honestly suspicious every single time of the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I would say, again, if you're, if you're looking for Christmas for holiday horror stuff, this is like a good thing, especially if you're like, I wanna read something like horror, but nothing too scurry, you know? This is, this is fun, it's cute. I really liked it. That was the reading vlog. Thank you so much for joining me for this journey, for this moment in time. I'm so thankful for you and, your children and your children's children. Thank you so much. And don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit. We talk about creepy shit. We talk about Krampus and Secret Santa and white elephants and the holidays and Christmas and shit. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. See you later. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>